Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm Seamus. And welcome to Instruct This, a web series promoting awesome DIY projects from Instructables.com. We're going to show you some of the most useful, interesting and playful designs to help you improve your everyday life. All links to the projects on the show can be found in the description below. The first project of the show comes from Mike Warren, who creates a beautiful and enchanting table using Pecky Cypress hardwood. The Pecky Cypress tree naturally forms small cavities inside its trunk due to fungal damage, which makes it perfect for filling in the gaps with resin. Mike Warren makes this table unique using a special blend of photoluminescent powder mixed with clear resin. The result is an amazing table which glows during twilight hours and night. To create this table, you will require Pecky Cypress hardwood, glow powder and clear resin. It's also handy to have the following tools. A saw, a plate joint or a biscuit cutter, glue, clamps, screwdriver, electric sander or sandpaper, a router and a drill. Here's a quick rundown on how to make the table. Cut the wood down to size, join the planks together, scrape, dig and claw out the rotted fungus to prevent the wood from further rot. Sand and mask the table for the resin. Mix the resin with a photoluminescent powder. Pour the resin into the cavities. Test the glow and clean up the edges. Sand the resin in the table again. Use a router on the edges and then apply a durable clear coat. Wet sand with fine sandpaper to make the table extra glossy and then attach your table legs and you're done. Mike's table is perfect to give your room some flair and it's also a great conversation starter. Check out Mike's page to see over 180 high quality and awesome DIY ideas. The next project of the show comes from user Linda Rose 92 who creates a spectacular skyscraper lamp using wooden dowels. The mesmerizing lighting effects that come off this lamp will make a great addition to any house. The skyscraper lamp has a very easy design and will only require a few materials and tools. You need about 124 7cm long wooden dowel pieces, a hot glue gun, a piece of cardboard, a pencil, a box cutter and a light bulb with a bulb holder. The basic method is to glue four wooden dowel pieces together to make a square shape. You will then need to make 31 of these squares for the tower all up. Then cut out a square piece of cardboard to the dimensions of your wooden squares. Trace an outline of your light bulb holder in the middle of this cardboard square and cut it out with a box cutter. To create the base of the lamp, glue together three squares on top of each other and then glue the piece of cardboard on top of that. Then start gluing the rest of the squares in alternating patterns as seen in the images. Once that's done, plug in your lamp and let the cool lighting effects begin. For extra lighting effects, try changing out the light bulb in your light bulb holder to get different colours in your room. Linda Rose has over 80 other awesome instructables on her page, including more incredible lamp designs. Go check out her profile to see more. Polk1986 teaches us how to turn old pallets into stunning outdoor furniture settings. The table uses recycled or reclaimed pallets and offers a very durable, cheap and unique option for your outdoor furniture needs. Polk's hexagon shaped table and chairs are made from around 3 pallets in total. Additional materials and tools needed for the table and chairs includes screws, wood stain, wood filler, sandpaper, handsaw, screwdriver and a miter box for angled cuts. To make the table, break down the pallets into individual parts. Cut the pieces to a hexagon shaped pattern using the miter box. Apply your desired stain to each piece of wood. Then assemble the table using Polk's tutorial as a reference. The result is an awesome outdoor furniture setting that you made for yourself for almost no money. Check out Polk's profile to see more of his instructables. Danger is my middle name. Cooks up an awesome batch of chocolate peanut butter brownies. To make these delicious brownies, you will need a pack of brownie mixture, a quarter cup of peanut oil, a quarter cup of water, one cup of heavy cream, an egg, a quarter of smooth peanut butter, and 340 grams of chocolate chips. To make the peanut butter brownies, Preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius or 325 Fahrenheit and lightly coat your pan with cooking oil. Mix together the brownie mix, the egg, the quarter cup of cream, the water and the peanut oil until it's all smooth. Then lightly mix in your peanut butter, making sure it's only just evenly distributed. Pour the mixture into your pan and cook for 40 to 50 minutes and then set aside to cool. The next step is to create the top layer of the brownie. Take the rest of your heavy cream and put it in a small saucepan and let it boil. Once it starts to boil, add the chocolate chips in a safe heating bowl and whisk until smooth. 
Spread it over the brownies and heat up some more peanut butter in the microwave for 30 seconds. Then pull the peanut butter in a straight diagonal line across the brownie to create a pattern. Use a toothpick to scrape the lines in your desired pattern. These peanut butter brownies make a great addition for any lunchbox or as a treat for your kids. Check out Dangerous My Middle Name's page to see more of their awesome cooking tutorials. E. Daniel shows us how to make a homemade King Cobra bracelet in just a few easy steps. The King Cobra bracelet wraps over an existing paracord bracelet, which E. Daniels also demonstrates how to make in another instructable on his profile. It's an easy process to make the bracelet as shown here. The advantages of this bracelet is it's very practical and it's a great looking accessory for your wrist, especially for hikers and campers. The paracord bracelet makes sure you always have 15 to 20 feet of strong rope on you at all times. For lost campers and hikers, this length of rope can potentially save your life in the case of an emergency. Visit E. Daniel's page to see even more paracord inspired tutorials. Thank you for watching another episode of Instruct This. Let us know in the comment section below which was your favourite instructor from today's episode. So next time you need to fix something, build something, or improve something, head over to instructables.com and don't forget to subscribe to us to see more awesome ways to reuse, redesign, recycle stuff from everyday life.